Welcome back queens and kings to another video and hi if you're new my name is Royalty and today I'm going to be um, demoing and kind of reviewing the Makeup Revolution stick foundation set. They, it's not even recent like it's not like they recently just came out with this but right <laughs> um, this is my first time um, trying it and I thought it would be a good idea to film it. Um, I have their foundation and I have their um, concealer also so the color I ordered for foundation is the color F16 and um, I'm so stupid y'all like I also ordered the concealer in the color C16 yeah you're gonna see why that's stupid very very soon so um, I recently just ordered something from Sephora and it gave me this Tatcha water cream um, sample and I know that it's very famous and people love it and this is all I have this is all I have by the way and I'm still I'm gonna use it because we're feeling very fanciful if I can figure out how to open it okay all right <laughs> oh it's very very little in there but you know it's a sample what what else did I expect? It smells medicinal. Okay. Um. Right. So I'm just gonna moisturize my face. I've already done my brows. I always already do my brows. And to conceal my brows, I use my usual concealer. I freaking love that concealer. And yeah. So next, I'm going to prime my face with my Black Radiance True Complexion Primer. I'm honestly looking to buy a new primer. I want, this is um like a mattifying primer, a shine control primer, same difference. Um, but I want a pore filler one because, right, like I don't like the dry, like it does its job and mattifies my face and everything, but I just wanna try a like blurring primer. You know, because my pores really be showing out for no reason. Like, ma'am, calm down. Okay. Man, I put so much in my forehead. This <sighs> mistake. A mistake. Alright. Alright. Okay. So now we're going to go in with the foundation. So I'm actually going to swatch it. This is how it looks, and I'm going to um, compare it to my Maybelline 370 foundation because that's what I use right now. So this is the Maybelline one, and this is the um, Makeup Revolution one. Just so we're clear, the Maybelline one is liquid, so yeah, and the Makeup Revolution one is thick. I feel like they look just alike, and that the Makeup Revolution one is just maybe a little warmer. I feel like they look very close, so, you know. It will fit me. Amen. So, the last time I used a stick foundation was when I first started wearing makeup. I don't even know how much to put on my face. Like, I don't know how stick foundations work. I don't know. Um, but the f last time I used a stick foundation was when I was using the Black Opal um, foundation. And I really liked it. Like, for my, it was my first ever foundation. And I really liked it. Um, this is blending really nice. Oh, mm, it fits nice. So I'm gonna do one side with my sponge and the other side with a brush. I usually like don't really have a preference. It just depends on how I'm feeling and I don't know like sometimes I use brush, sometimes I use a blender, sometimes I use both. It's just all very dependent on nothing specific <laughs> it's just like whatever okay so let me make sure that it's all blended in oh it looks pretty nice wow that is really good coverage i like it Ooh, i like it okay so um i'm gonna use my brush for the other side I feel like for stick foundation, 
it's better to use a beauty blender, especially because it's wet. Like, a brush is dry. The foundation is, like, I don't know, dry feeling. It's like, it's dry, but because it's thick, it's, you know, it's not liquid. Um, so, I feel like it's better to use a sponge, but <laughs> look at that pimple just <laughs> chillaxing. Um, but I feel like it's, it looks the same. I feel like it looks the same either way. This is the side I did with the brush, and this is the side I did with... I, I feel like this is smoother. I think this is smoother than this side. I don't know. It's like, like it looks the same, but at the same time, the side of the beauty blender looks smoother. All right, so now I'm gonna conceal with their concealer. Um, guys, I am so embarrassed because I made such a big mistake. So I'm gonna show you guys the swatch of this concealer, the Makeup Revolution concealer in the color. In the color C16, right? Yeah, C16. And compared to the one I currently use. So this is theirs. Right here. And this is the one I use. Uh, ooh, wow, that's a big difference. First of all, the one I use is like way lighter. It's yellower. This, let me, this looks kind of like the foundation. And I'm. it's my own fault. Who told me to do that? Like, when, but when I saw the colors, I felt like there was a jump from C13 to other other colors, and I was just scared. But look at the big difference. Like, I should have got C13. Probably if I ordered it again, maybe that's what I would get. That was such a bad idea. Like, I really thought. I really thought. Like, you guys look. It looks like. It looks like the foundation is just very dumb of me to think. And I can't use this as a... Like, I guess if I'm going for a very neutral look, I can. My concealer that I use right now is very um, bright. Like, glam. Because it's so bright. So I guess if I'm doing a neutral look, I guess. <laughs> I guess. But right i'm gonna contour with i reverse i like do different methods every single time i do my makeup like and especially when i'm on camera i'll be trying to show out for what <laughs> um but i usually um I usually reverse contour, but I didn't do that today, so I'm going to blend this out. It also looks very red, like, yikes, this is not going to look good. So blend out this side with a beauty blender, and I'm going to blend out the other side with um, a brush. So usually with my concealer, I usually, nine times out of, eight times out of ten, use a brush. But sometimes I'm lazy and the beauty blender is faster and I use a beauty blender. Um, but we're going to do both. We're going to do both. I look very even. I, I kind of look reddish and orange but it's okay. Okay so now I'm going to blend out the other side with my NYX is an elf. I don't know, I get it mixed up. Um, I think it's e.l.f. E.l.f. Conceal concealer brush. Um, usually this is what I use. Um, but I think I let this sit for too long. Oh, yikes. It's like sitting. It's not moving at all. Mm, you can hear my mom. Oops. So this is the side with the everything I did with um a beauty blender, and this is everything I did with the brush. I don't know, maybe this pimple is throwing me off, but I feel like this side looks better. Like honestly, I really like this. I really like this. It just doesn't look glam, you know. And I'm gonna bend on my contour. So this is it. 
I feel like let me blend out my contour over here better. Um, oop, too too dark, too dark. Yeah, I feel like honestly, I love, I really like it. I love it, and I feel like it matches my neck pretty well. Okay, guys, so I have this weird thing. I'm pretty sure I was born with it. But there's like lighter areas of my neck. Um, there's nothing I can do about that, but it matches pretty well. And look at my face. It looks so smooth. I really, really, really love this. I was going to put on lashes and stuff, but I'm liking this simple look. Like, I look I look simple. I love it. But just put on some Fenty lip gloss because I can. Because I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in next Friday. I will be doing a comparison of the uh, Julius Place Masquerade Palette and their Zulu Palette. Um, I know that it has been a while. I'm not even going to like try and explain myself. I feel like I always do that. But it's whatever, you know. Just know I'm trying my very hardest to get back on my YouTube grind. Um, oh my god. I just touched. <sighs> Look. If you've seen a mess anyways anyways tune in next friday for next week's video also do you guys peep that new intro welcome back kings and queens you like it because get it my name is Worthy. you get it i hope you guys like it <laughs> because i'm not changing it um but thank you for tuning in and i'll see you next friday